So this month's theme for myself anyways has been working with the eight limbs of yoga and the yamas and the first being ahimsa, nonviolence, and with all that we're going through, no matter what your situation is, in challenging times, we are going to be just looking at our th thought pattern and some of the spirals we get ourselves into. And today's little mantra for ourselves can be, in my thoughts, actions, and words, I practice peace today. Again, in my thoughts, words, and actions, I practice peace today. And that's especially important in our minds to practice peace as we go throughout our days and we might feel irritated and angry with uh, people who are close to us or even ourselves. And in a sense, if we're getting irritated and we're being reactive rather than responding to the situations, we might not be acting with ahimsa. So just let that be a thought, a seed inside your mind to practice kindness and peace inside and out. Continue to breathe in and out through your mouth. Whatever thoughts are going through your head right now, let's try and be aware. And by being aware, we can start being more mindful and hopefully slowing down those thoughts. And lastly, in our short meditation, just check in with your body. Find any sensations throughout your body from head to toe where you feel discomfort and just be aware of those areas, but also be aware of the areas that feel good, that feel open and ready for today's practice. And those areas that might feel tight, just give them a bit of attention as we go through our practice today, not to evoke any more tension in those spots. One more deep inhale together, breathing in through the nose, holding it at the top, and exhale out through the mouth. In your seat, we're going to come to Sukhasana now, if you're not already in that spot, taking away if we were on a cushion or any kind of mat, and we're going to bring our left knee up and over to the right side of our thigh. Nice straight back, coming into a seated twist. Inhale, bring the right leg, right arm up. Left hand goes just behind the back, just a gentle stretch. And you can twist any way you like. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, maybe sink a little bit deeper. And don't expect this twist to be very far, especially if you're just waking up. This is your first movement of the day. Be gentle. Maybe your gaze comes a little bit towards the back of your mat. We're starting off with some deep stretches. And even though our bodies are a bit cold and not warmed up, we're just listening to our bodies so that we're not hurting ourselves in any way. Inhale, bring your hand back up. To center. Now, with your knees like this, we're going to stack our knees over top of each other. So, just a little bit of movement. The left knee is over top of the right knee. And if you've got that reverse, no problem, just um, be aware. And we're going to lift our hands up with our inhale. And drop your right hand down behind the back. The left hand comes behind. And we're taking Gomukhasana. And we want to see if we can bring that left hand down behind our back. Maybe your hands bind together, but if they don't, 
don't feel any pressure, you can always use a strap, but just the sensation of reaching your hands closer together, feeling the deep stretch in your shoulders. Especially in your left side body, feeling that stretch. Make sure your head isn't becoming tucked in. You want to have elongation throughout the spine for this. Breathe here. Exhale, let's release and fold forward. So coming into uh, stretching our hip. So stay in the same seated position, go in Kasana, and just bring your hands out like extended child's pose, feeling the stretch in the psoas, the back muscles, the left hip, wherever else you feel sensation, and just sink into this pose as far as you can go. Your head doesn't have to touch your knees or your floor, but you can bring your chin in at this point, rounding the back. Inhale, slowly come up and out of it, very slow, because that was a bit very deep of a stretch. And now we're going to rotate around to the right. And if we do it right, slowly walk your hands all the way over. And if we do it right, we should be in Gomukhasana on the other side. But if you're not, just stack the right knee over top of the left knee. Looking great, awesome. Hands come up, inhale, and on your exhale, leave the right hand up, left hand become, goes behind the back, right hand reaches down. See if you can bind, if not, that's perfectly okay. Reaching, maybe your fingertips tickle each other in the back, maybe they don't. Maybe they're nowhere near each other, that's okay too. As long as you're feeling a stretch, in the shoulders, especially the right side body. Try and see if you can bring your right hip down just a bit so that your hips are level. Inhale, bring both hands up overhead, exhale, melt forward into that child's pose like position, forward fold, bring the chin maybe towards the top knee as far as you feel comfortable. Make sure both hips are grounded into the earth and just release here. Slowly come back up, lift your right leg up, put the sole of the right foot down beside the left thigh, coming into the stretch, the twist on the other side, inhale, lengthen the left arm, bring the right hand just behind your back where it's comfortable, and twisting gently again, noticing anything different on this side, maybe your gaze comes towards the right, and just breathe gently here. Be extra kind to your body with these morning stretches. Getting ready for our flow. On your next inhale, bring your left hand up. Coming back. Readjust your seat, and we're going to come through into all fours. Tabletop position, shoulders stacked over the top of the wrists. Look where your hips are, over top of the knees, hip width apart. Find a nice posture here. Your back is long from the crown of the head to the tailbone. Couple cat-cows. Inhale as you inhale, look up to the sky, round the back. Arch the back, sorry. And exhale, round the back, chin comes towards the chest.
and just move with your own breath. You can stay in this more static cat-cow. Or on your exhale, you can go down to child's pose, round in the back. Inhale, arch the back, coming up, your choice. Nice slow movements for the morning afternoon or evening, whatever time it is for you. Practicing that non-judgmental, kind state of mind. Not being negative if we can't reach any pose like we'd like to. Let's take one more cycle, wherever you are. And on your next inner exhale, just find tabletop again. Let's engage the core. So you can tuck your toes here. Lift the, he the knees up just an inch maybe. Hover them off the ground. And see if you can maintain a nice straight back. Core is engaged. We'll stay here for five seconds. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhale deeply, and exhale, bring your hips up into our first down dog. Maybe you need to move your hands out a little bit, walking it out, alternating, bending one knee, then the other knee. Awesome work. Maybe you need stillness right now. Focus on bringing the sternum towards the ground. See where the heels are, as long as you're feeling a bit of a stretch in the back of the legs, the calves and hamstrings. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. On your exhale, just Step, take your time, maybe tend to your fingertips so it's easier to find your first forward fold. Generous bend in the knees. See if you can touch the ground with your fingertips and bend your knees as much as you need to so you can reach. Maybe connecting your chest towards your thighs. Placing the right hand directly at the bottom where our gaze is. Bend the right knee, lengthen the left leg, coming in for our first forward twist. Bring the left hand nice and high, maybe tenting the right fingertips if you need to find more height, using a block. If your wrists are sore, you can always make a fist. Head is gazing up. If your neck is sore, you can stay looking towards the ground or the side. Do what feels good in this position. Maybe your hand, your left hand comes to your lower back so that you can really sense the shoulder lifting back. And exhale, come back to that fold. Let's bend the left knee, straight, straighten the right knee, twisting to the other side. Inhale, lengthen the right arm up to the sky. Exhale, come back to your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And as slow as we can, we're going to rape doll vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly coming up into mountain. But take your time. Maybe it takes two breath cycles. Once you make it up to the top, head comes up last, roll the shoulders. If you're feeling dizzy in the head, just take a minute. You can bring your chin towards the chest and just breathe here.
ground down through the feet. And we're going to start to flow through our vinyasa now. Inhale, hands come up, reach overhead nice and high. Look up to the sky, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back into plank. Hold it here. Let's rock a little bit forwards and backwards. And slowly exhale, coming to the belly. Elbows are close towards the chest. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, come down. Inhale, come back up, maybe a little bit higher. Exhale, down. Inhale, coming up to a higher cobra. Exhale, come down. Maybe this time, inhale, come to an upward facing dog where we're lifting the thighs up, looking up to the sky, and exhale. Inhale, push yourself up into tabletop and through to downward facing dog. Awesome work, everyone. Breathe here. Starting off slow. Let's just flow right here between our downward dog, slowly rounding the back, coming into a straight back to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank or half plank, taking what modifications you need as we are all at different levels in our practice. Be aware of any sensations in the body. Now on your exhale, coming to downward facing dog. On your inhale, coming to plank. And on your last exhale, come to down dog, hang out here. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step or hop to the front, forward fold. Taking a quicker twist, so inhale, left arm comes up. Exhale, switch. Inhale, right hand comes up. Exhale. Inhale, rig doll all the way up. Hands overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Starting to feel the heart maybe beat just a little bit quicker or a lot and warming up that body. Let's just find our balance here as we rock back and forward into Dasana, really getting grounded through the feet side to side. If you really want to work on your balance, close your eyes. Feel your toes connect with the earth and then find stillness. Root down. Inhale, hands come up overhead. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. This time on your inhale, step the right leg back. Lower the back knee. Inhale, low lunge. Try and make sure that knee is stacked over top of the ankle. You're not hyperextending. Inhale, look up. Exhale, twist to the left. Open your hands nice and wide. You're receiving an awesome big hug. Inhale, hands come back up. Exhale, twist to the right. Really reach those hands out, feeling that opening in your chest. And hands come back. Exhale, cobra, uh, sorry, not cobra. Cactus your arms back bend. Look up. Exhale, frame the foot. Step the left leg back. Chaturanga Dandasana, so come from your plank. Down halfway or all the way. Find upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, down dog. Staying here for three breaths. 
find something new maybe to focus on in your down dog this time. Step the right leg up, lower the back knee, the left knee, inhale, low lunge, on your next inhale, look up to the sky, reach, and exhale, twisting to the right, inhale, hands come up, exhale, twisting to the left. Awesome. Inhale, hands come up. Cactus the arms, back bend. And fold forward over the feet. Let's bring the left leg to meet the right leg. Forward fold. Really get deep into this forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way back up. Hands overhead, and exhale right back into it, forward fold. This time on your inhale, step the left leg back. Let's keep the left knee lifted this time. Inhale for high crescent lunge. Find a minute here, strengthen through the front thigh, feeling the front foot rooted into the earth. The back leg is nice and long. Maybe sink a little bit deeper into this pose, as long as you can still see your toes of the front leg. Hands come down to heart, center, coming in for a twist to the right side. So left elbow comes to the right knee, looking over to the right. Open your chest, so pull your right shoulder blade back if you can. Put pressing the left heel towards the back, feet are still engaged, and exhale release, step it back, take a flow, inhale, cobra or up dog, exhale, downward facing dog, other down dogs are a chance to rest but they're still active poses. Inhale, bring the left leg up. Exhale. Power through both legs as we come up into our crescent lunge. Breathe deeply here in this powerful pose. Gazes forward. Exhale, hands come to the heart. Right elbow this time comes to towards the left knee, coming in for a twist on the other side. Just keep our twists nice and gentle for now. We're going to have the option to go deeper into these twists in our next flows. Breathe calmness. Exhale, soften. Relax into the pose. Be mindful of your back leg. Sometimes I forget and it starts to bend, but we want it to stay nice and long. And exhale, step the right foot to meet the left foot. Grab opposite elbows like you're rocking a baby side to side. Release the head, release any tension. Come back to stillness. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Hands to hips. Try and get that flat back as we come all the way back up. Hands overhead. Exhale. Anjali Mudra, hands into the heart. Inhale, sink down low, Utkatasana, chair pose. Hands can be out or to the heart. Lift all your toe, toes up and then ground them down. And exhale.
exhale, fold. Step both legs down. Sorry, step both legs back. Plank, holding plank for a second. Put your right hand in the center of your mat. Shift your heels down towards the left. Bring the left hand up. Side plank. You can always take your right knee down. Breathe here. Very strong pose, working the obliques, the core, the right shoulder. Exhale, come back to plank. Hold it here. Let's step, bring the left hand in front, shifting over to the right side, lifting the right hand. Option to always drop the left knee down for a variation. Come back to plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And on our exhale, we're going to open our knees wide and take. A child's pose. Take time to breathe here. As we conclude our practice, feel free to meditate a little bit more or slowly bring yourself up to seated, focusing on your inhale and exhale, thanking yourself for taking the time today to join me in our yoga class. Enjoy the rest of your day. May the light in me honor the light in you. Namaste.